Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. It's getting really close to Valentine's Day, so I did this beautiful red velvet heart design. If you'd like to see how I did it, keep on watching. As always, I started off by buffing the shine from all of the press-on nails and applying a thin coat of base gel. When you paint your press-ons, you always want to make sure you're painting down towards the cuticle and also up towards the free edge. This will make sure that you don't get any spilling over the edge and it'll be nice and smooth when it lays on your natural nail. After each coat, wipe the sides and the cuticle area to avoid the edges from getting bulky. For the pointer finger, I took a small brush and drew a little heart as best as I possibly could. I had just had a cup of coffee before this, so I was a tad shaky. I recommend no caffeine before painting your nails. It makes it a lot easier. Now I'm just taking my brush and filling in the rest of the space. I'm leaving the heart as the negative space in this nail and I thought it was really cute. I really liked how it turned out. I kind of overdid the outline a bit at the end so it looks a little smaller but nevertheless it still is pretty cute. Uh, don't forget to wipe the sides and the cuticle area so we don't cause any buildup and cure that for 60 seconds. My first attempt at this negative space heart design, I used the red polish and a dotting tool and I drew out the hearts just like I'm doing here. This is probably the quickest way and the easiest way I found of drawing a heart on a nail. The dotting tool makes it really, really easy to get those really smooth sides of that heart. I'm positioning the hearts on different angles because I want it to look a little bit whimsical and making sure that they're evenly spaced apart. I'm applying a no wipe top coat just to the areas where I want the chrome powder to be applied. So I'm just being careful not to get it inside the heart. I'm using a thin brush just to get a little bit closer and outline the edges a bit more. Doing the same thing on this one, I'm just using the dotting tool to apply the top coat because it's a little bit easier and then using a thin brush to get the edges. Mm -hmm. 
I'm using my finger to apply the chrome, but you can definitely use the applicator that the chrome comes with. And I'm just rubbing it onto the nail with some firm pressure. And as you can see, it only sticks to the part where we put the top coat, leaving the heart still as a negative space. I'm using a small brush just dipped in acetone just to clean up around the edges of these hearts because some of the chrome actually stuck to the base coat that was underneath so if you remember at the beginning of the video I mentioned it was my first attempt at this design because in a little bit I will show you a different technique that is a little bit easier and came out really clean I'm applying a matte top coat on top of the chrome and when you do that it creates this really cool velvet look. For the second option I applied a base coat then a no wipe top coat, cured both of them for 60 seconds, rub on the chrome powder, use a soft brush and dust it off really well. Then using the no wipe top coat what I'm going to do is grab the dotting tool and use the same technique to draw on the hearts. It's a little hard to see what I'm doing on camera, but it's just a little bit shinier than the chrome. So in person, you can definitely do this. It's not too difficult. Okay, this is the cool part. Cure that for 60 seconds, then take a cotton round with acetone and just watch. It's really, really cool. You just wipe off the nail and basically you're gonna wipe off all of the chrome that wasn't where the top coat was. Now you get a very crisp, crisp heart doing this. I recommend using this technique. And now I'm just sealing it with some top coat. And to make the hearts the velvet look, I took the matte top coat and just outlined it this way. This leaves the negative space completely clear as opposed to frosted like the other look. I don't know, I think I liked it better this way. What did you guys think? Leave me a comment and let me know. Here's the final look guys. I hope you guys loved it. I absolutely love the velvet look. I think it's so pretty. If you liked this look, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time.